Well, today, guys, we're going to be checking out an old dinosaur. Today, we're going to be checking out a 1971 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ram, a guitar player here on YouTube, and yeah man, what an old antique we got in the studio today. Let's talk about it. Before we get into today's topic, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for tuning back in. Hit that like button and share this video. This guitar deserves to be seen and heard, alright? So this guitar, 49 years old, 1971 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Now a lot of people kind of poo-poo the 70s stuff that Gibson was starting to put out. But I have a 78, that's my own personal guitar, and then this guitar, a 71, man, whew, beautiful guitar. Ah, I don't see why people give so much hate for 70s guitars, especially Gibson and Fender, but yeah, man, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. So as far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, it is all original minus the bridge. Now, the bridge is, in fact, included with this guitar. It's in its case, but the, the owner of this guitar has since switched out the bridge of this guitar, um, and it is now a, um, a brand new Tone Pros, um, tunematic bridge, if you will. But apart from that, it is all original to the best of my knowledge, original pots and components, original knobs, original pickups, original tuners. Although at one point in time, this guitar appears to have had some sort of drilling of, of, of some kind into the headstock of this guitar. I'll, show, I'll get some close-ups of it so you guys can take a look at it. But yeah, apart from that, man, this guitar seems to be in really, really good shape. No headstock break, which is, you know, Les Pauls and Gibsons in general are really known for. It has had a refret in its life. Um, it's not the original frets, and that's to be expected, um, you know, considering it's 49 years old. So this guitar has been here for quite some time, for quite a few, quite a few days. I've just been noodling around with it, just checking it out, playing with it, and uh, yeah, man, it just feels and sounds like an absolute dream of an old school guitar. It's got that old smell, that old feel, that old vibe to it. I mean, it's all worn out, got some serious buckle rash, all of the finishes all but gone on the back of the headstock. I mean, back of the neck and headstock. Um, but yeah, man, just whew, what a piece of American history right here. I'm in, uh, I'm in drop B right now, you know, oddly enough. I've been doing a lot of standard and drop D stuff, but I figured I'd bring on the heavy and go back to my favorite tuning of all time, that is drop B. I'm going through my Mesa Boogie dual rectifier with a Fortin blade in front of it, and then that is going into the Universal Audio Oxbox. So without further ado, let's get to some tones.
All right, everybody, that is everything that I could show you with this guitar. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm a metal player, and I'm in drop B, so there really wasn't too much cleans. Actually, there wasn't any cleans, but, you know, I just like to, to riff and, and, you know, make guitars scream, so why not do it with a drop B Les Paul Custom from 1971, huh? So all in all, guys, I love this guitar, man. It is super cool, super fun experience to be able to play one of these guitars and, you know, and have it in my possession, man. It's just absolute dream. You know to to eventually own something like this it is really really cool man i absolutely love this guitar the only negative i could really say about this guitar man is just it doesn't stay in tune very good um i think if i was to have this guitar i would definitely need some locking tuners but you know it's to be expected it's 49 years old and it ain't so bad at the end of the day you know what i mean i can get by with some instability it adds a little bit of character and a little bit of vibe it doesn't always have to be perfectly in tune all the time you know i can get it i can i can get used to it to some degree so guys, I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think of everything that I came up with? Leave all your thoughts down below. A huge shout out to all my patrons and everybody watching at home. I'm out of here. Stay metal, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.